Hi, I'm Bob Tan and I'm a member of JLL Regional Capital Markets team with a special focus on data centre. These are facilities that require robust connectivity to exchanges, land fibre, subsea cables and they require quite a lot of power capacity. Historically, Singapore has been a key data centre hub as a financial centre. And then with increasing the adoption of cloud computing, most of the major providers have already secured a sizable footprint in Singapore. Today, we have a total data centre capacity of about 1,000 megawatt. As with many other countries, our government is committed to lowering carbon emissions. And in the data centre market, the government had to call for a moratorium for new data centre projects since 2019. No new co-location facilities have come online since 2021, when Equinix Digital Loyang 2 and STT Loyang opened for service. Over the last 12 months, we saw a rather strong absorption of available capacity in co-location facilities. Supply is now at its tightest level, with vacancy at around 5%. For enterprise wholesale co-location, the MRC has increased from around 300 per kilowatt per month US dollar to an excess of 500. Because of such supply demand dynamics in Singapore, we have witnessed spillover effects where large deployments have gone to neighbouring Johor and to some extent Batam. In response, our EDB and IMDA launched a pilot program CFA call for application in July 2022 for 60 megawatt of capacity. Applicants have to demonstrate innovations to improve data centre efficiency and new sustainable energy solutions. The applications closed end of last year with an overwhelming response. Against this backdrop, the investment market remains muted. Most of the data centres are held by operators and therefore little motivation to sell. I believe the last trade was done by YTR Power Investment into the data centre in December 2021. So any opportunity to acquire an operational data centre in Singapore will attract keen interest. Looking ahead, the market is eager to learn about the outcome of the CFA, who will be the successful parties, what are the success factors, and what it means for future approvals. In the meantime, co-location MRC is expected to remain elevated through to the rest of the year. Thank you for watching this quarter Data Centre Real Talk. We'll see you again next quarter.